Oh my scary. We're getting ready to put the crankshaft into the engine here. I got the boys out cleaning off some of the nuts and uh, the caps and everything and the um, oil pump. I've already installed the, the, the rear uh, uh, seal. I've got it cut off, the rope seal. It's ready to go. Um, I'm going to put the bearings in now. The center bearing I'm going to put in first. It has a flange on it. I've already cleaned out uh, where these bearings go. Um, like on other, like on the journals, they have these cutouts here or punches that coincide with, a, uh, I guess, a mark in the engine. And so what it will do is we'll just put that in. Get my glove stuck in there. And they should just pop right in. Now they don't always just go in and stop. They might need just a little bit of coaxing. And they're going. Notice I'm using a little brass hammer and I'm very lightly tapping it. Okay, and they should be fairly flush on each side. Alright. And the ends, both ends, We'll use a bearing that doesn't have the flange like the center one. But again, it's got the little cutout, which coincides with um, a cutout on the end. Make sure everything is good and clean going into the engine, because what we're going to do is we'll... You want the engine as clean as you can. However, if if when you once you get it done, um, we're going to change the oil after just a little a little while. We're going to run it for a little bit and then we're going to clean it out because these things inevitably get dirty. When I mean you can't, it's hard to get it totally clean when you're in the environment that we're in. Um, so you want to change your oil. Your oil will pick up everything. Your oil filter will pick up everything. So you just want to make sure they're good and clean. Okay, bearings in. And last bearing. I was going to say the rope seals. The engine has a small squared off rope seal that goes in the back and then there's a fat round one that goes in the front. We'll install the front one when we do the, uh, we put the oil pan in and the rest of the stuff. So there's the seals. Or not the seals, the bearings. The bearings are in. Next thing we're going to do is install the crankshaft. Uh, before I do that, I need to get some oil. Okay. I'm going to add some of this engine goop that Steiner had about from Steiner for doing just this. It's a lubricant. It's red, sticky. It seems to be pretty good stuff. I'm going to put this on the bearing. Just so they have a little bit of lubrication. Okay. Hey Cameron, I need that crankshaft clean too. What is that? Crankshaft. I'm gonna go ahead and stop this for a moment. Alright, crankshaft time. It's important that you do this very carefully. We're gonna have to I have to make sure our timing marks lined up right there. I'm going to take a, huh? I'm going to want to take a picture of that. Okay. So we are going to take a picture of the timing mark when we're done here. Um, so everyone knows right where it's at. So this is in place. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put in the rest of our bearings. And then we're going to bolt them down. Again, I'm using some of this lubricant. I'm going to put the center one in first. Cameron, you got the cap for the center? They're the same, aren't they? No, they're, they weren't, but... Did you guys mix them up or something? 
Well, I need it. One of those are wider than the other. That's part of the center because it's wider. More than likely, yep. Yeah. Okay, the center one is wider. These caps have arrows on them. The arrow goes toward the front of the engine. So, I'm going to install this real quick. Probably should have waited to lubricate it until I had it in. <clears throat> but it'll be okay. We'll just make sure we do it right next time. Okay, arrow toward the front. Do you have the nuts, Austin? Get me the center nuts. I'm just going to give this a little tap. It is going on square, but these things are pretty dang tight. Okay, we got our slot of nuts here. Um, yeah, come over here and tell everyone what you're doing. So I'm just taking another one of these bearings and I'm putting it on the other cap that goes um, right. Goes on the back. It goes on the back of the engine. Because the other one's the oil pump. So. Yeah, the front's the oil pump. You just slide it in. We're going to wait to put the oil pump on. Um, exactly. We're going to probably... Perfectly. So. Yeah. Okay, let's get some lubricant on there. We're not good. So these need to be torqued down. We're not going to torque them right now, but we will. Actually, we might as well torque them. What am I thinking? Who here knows what torque spec is? Torque wrench. It's in the book. All right, we're going to torque these down in just a second. We're going to put you on pause. We've installed the end here with the oil pump. There's no reason to time the the gear for the oil pump, it doesn't matter. We are still gonna take a picture and we'll add it to this video of the timing of the main gear, or the main, two main gears. Now why is that feeling like it's not going? Oh, it is, it's just being fun. Okay, so we got these just barely tightened. Not terribly tight, but a little bit tightened. So, let's call for 75 to 80, 85 foot-pounds. Um, we're going to start out with our torque wrench. We're going to do 45 just to start out. Because we don't want to overdo it. There it goes. Of course, now my socket don't want to come off. There it is. So, we'll do all these. And then we'll go up to, we're going to probably run these at 80. And it makes a little clicking sound and you know it's at the right torque. Yeah. If you can't hear that. Of course, wouldn't you know it? This wouldn't fit. So we actually got to take that off. <laughs> hey, you know what? We're learning. Are we still in the camera shot? Yeah. yeah it's been so a we're still learning here. I guess we should have tightened those other ones down first. It's not going to hurt nothing to pull this off. So we weren't down to full torque. And even if we had been, it's not the end of the world. If those out there who think this is the end of the world are doing this, well, it's not. So while I work on this, we... Uh, gun tractor, I talked a little bit about it earlier. Not that really tiny screwdriver. Right there. Um, we will be having more gun videos and stuff in the future. We'll see where that takes us. Oh, there it goes. Came right off. Come over here and put that one back. Austin can hold this. So my two boys here, we haven't used a whole lot of names. Oldest boy is Cameron. Uh, second boy here is Austin. Cameron, how old are you now? Um, I'm 15 right now, but I'll be 16. All right. Next month. Okay. So we're going 45 foot pounds. This is actually the same torque wrench that I used to put barrels on AR 15s, if you were interested. 
we're going to get these two, the middle one and the end, torqued. And then we'll, okay? Now we're going to run this sucker up to a higher level. Let's see, we're almost to 70. <laughs> Should we go higher than that? Sorry guys, I'm just trying to figure out what's going on here with my torque wrench. I think we're going to tighten these up to 80. There we are, we're at 80. So 80 really isn't that much. If you, if you know anything. So we're going to get some wire. We don't have the wire, but we put wire through the bolts and the nuts here, and then we're going to crisscross it and wire it up. If the notch in the nut doesn't line up with the, the hole in the bolt, tighten it a little more. It's not going to hurt anything. All right, let's put that back on. This is 75 to 85, so there's so it'll be okay. Just buffer it in. Yeah, it'll be okay. So I'm not going to reset my torque wrench back to 45. It feels like it's cross-threading a little bit. I think it's just being a pill. Yeah, it's going on like butter, no problem. So like I said, we'll do some more gun videos. Um, hoping to get out feels like it's cross-threading. It's going on, but something's wrong. Hopefully we'll get out and do some videos of some older guns and it'll be really cool. I really don't know what's going on with this nut. There we go. I think it was slightly cross-threaded. Now it's going on easy. So I want to do some videos with some older guns. I have a few Lee Enfields, an old Krag rifle we might do some stuff with, and we might do some musket work. And I have a musket. I actually have several muskets and a flat lock and stuff. But we might do some handgun videos. Um, it's all going to be according to me and my boys. I know there's different, I guess, ways of doing things, and some people think that they know a lot about guns and some do and I find there's a lot of crap online where people think they're wow that didn't sound good for my toe print I think they're pretty pretty snazzy there it goes okay all right just to double check So, there we go. Crankshaft is in. I'm going to loosen my torque wrench here. I don't like to leave them um, under pressure or anything. Alright, there we go. Uh, next is we're going to start installing the, uh, the uh, pistons and the rods.